Hey, I'm gonna try to film one more movie review while I'm out here. Because of the HBO free weekend preview, I watched Oblivion 2013 starring Tom Cruise. This is from director John Kaczynski, who, if you look up my Tron legacy review from like whenever the hell that was, like 2010, I think, I think that'd be on the Von Fry channel. I was. I made a bit of a declaration there. I said, you want to keep an eye on this guy. And I should have watched this movie in theaters because it turned out I liked it. And I, I don't remember why I didn't, but you know, I'm, I'm really been burned out on movies. But anyways, this guy, Tom Cruise, his, his name's Jack Harper. Yeah, Tom Cruise plays a Jack again. And it's year 2077. He's with this redhead chick, Victoria. They're like the lone inhabitants of Earth. The rest, or you know, so they're told, there's gonna be a lot of spoilers here, folks. So go ahead and watch the movie first. You have my blessing. Come back here. So there's this spaceship off in orbit around Earth called the Tet. It's like a, some kind of big triangle. Anyhow, the rest of, of Earth survivors from an alien war are on the Tet, and they're headed to Saturn, one of Saturn's moons, Titan. That's the story they're told. So he lives there with this Victoria. They've had their memory wiped for security reasons. They take care of drones that are fighting the scavengers. The commercials give away way too much this movie. I think it was a big factor why I didn't see it until now, that is. Because you know that one of the scavengers is Morgan Freeman. I don't remember his character's name. Not that it matters. He's playing Morgan Freeman in the future. You know he's one of them. And with that known, then you pretty much waste like the first 20 minutes of the movie. But there were some surprises. So of course Jack is led to believe that the scavengers are bad or the aliens, but they're the humans and he's been working for the aliens the whole time. Or an alien computer or whatever. He actually learns that he is a clone. And that was a surprise because Morgan Freeman said don't go out into the radioactive zone. Right, well, actually he said go out there, you'll find the answers. And he learns that like, there's these different zones where each Jack Harper and Victoria are assigned to, to watch over the drones and hunt scavengers. So he he's like number 49 and there's a Jack Harper 52 he runs into, has a little fight with. But he also runs across his old wife, Julia, who I don't know why she is floating in space this long. Not that it's too important. But they were all astronauts. They were all on this mission to go check out this tent, which is actually the alien superstructure in space. And Jack and Victoria jettison the rest of the crew, have them go land on Earth, and they, they got sucked up into the beam and they got cloned. And we're like a clone army that attacked Earth. So he's kind of learning that he's a clone. But at the same time, I am relieved that Victoria wasn't a bad guy. I was expecting the whole time, well, we gotta find some way to get rid of her so he can be with Olga Kurlenko, this Julia, his wife. So she's gonna be the bad guy that was keeping tabs on him the whole time. That's That was my expectation, and I was glad that my expectations were not met in that regard. So, shit, there's just people everywhere. It's like people wanna come get my autograph or something. So I was actually okay with with how she was being duped too. And well, I'm gonna have to pause here. Tom Cruise was ordered, Jack Harper's ordered to bring Julia back to the ship. So he, he knocks her out, it looks like we're gonna get a big sad ending, they're gonna die together. And it was a fake, he brought Morgan Freeman because Morgan Freeman had made mention, hey, it'd be a nice one-way ticket, one-way trip to go up there and blow up that spaceship. So that he managed to do that, and it wasn't too bad because this Tom Cruise was a clone, but you know, we got our sad ending, then we got a happy ending, because a few years later, Jack 52 saw Julia and understood that his wife was out there on Earth and kind of 
was able to get privy to the knowledge that he's being lied to and all that, he goes and meets up with her. So we get that they have a happy life together and she apparently had a kid at some point there with the one, the clone that died. But, you know, I thought this was a pretty well put together screenplay. It's my understanding that Kaczynski like had an unpublished, he, he put this, he pitched this uh, graphic novel with the intention of making it a movie the whole time. And this was the way he was able to do it. I thought special effects were very well polished. Tom Cruise did a good job. The story was inventive, but sensical, like engaging, like just, just a solid movie here. I give it three out of four stars, but it gets a little shit on because supposedly the story this time. What it really is, is it's all the assholes in Hollywood know that they can pick on certain religious groups, Mormons, Christians in general, oh you're so crazy, and now Scientologists are in this group, so we have to pick on, let's see, how many people behind me here, alright, I'm gonna make a U-turn here, we get to pick on Tom Cruise because, well, his religion isn't Jewish, so he's wrong. That's, that's really the way it is. The Jews writing Hollywood know that they have to bring everybody else down. Everybody else's religion's too kooky. Can't say anything bad about ours. Holocaust. Uh, Anti-Defamation League. You say anything bad about us. So we got to find some way to put a Tom Cruise movie down. And you don't always go after Tom Cruise. This time you say it's the story. Well, the story was derivative. No, there's surprises. Bullshit if you saw all this coming. Yeah, the marketing was a little effed up. But really what it comes down to is this movie has Tom Cruise in it and you have to promote your agenda. So shit on Tom Cruise in some capacity that you know how. So there you have it. That's my review of Oblivion. <sighs> Happy... You know, if I air these out of order, I guess I'm gonna... I'll put this on 4th of July. Hope you had a good 4th of July. See ya.